For better or worse, after 14 months of a federal transportation mask order. So feel free to exercise your freedom this morning. This morning, the country is at a pandemic turning point. I prefer not to wear the mask uh, if, if I don't have to, so I'm glad that it stopped. For millions of travelers, it's reason to celebrate. I think it's great, yeah. I think everyone's ready. I think it's about time. But others are worried about a new COVID variant spreading fast, with 2,600 deaths just last week. Coronavirus is really spreading, and I just feel safer around people with masks. In Houston, transit crews have removed their mask up to ride signs, while New York remains the largest city holdout, still requiring facial coverings on trains, buses, and taxis. Can we continue to encourage New Yorkers to wear masks if they're in an environment where it's unknown? Uh, the status of the persons or individuals they are around. But nationally, Uber and Lyft are dropping the mask. I might still wear mine, you know, but if the passengers don't want to wear it, I'm not, you know, I'm okay with it. But the patchwork of changing rules is still causing confusion in some places. In Philadelphia, for example, you can fly on a plane unmasked, but in the airport terminal, mask goes back on. Take the subway or an Uber, mask can come off, but go grab dinner or do some shopping in the city, mask up again. A Trump-appointed federal judge struck down the federal mandate, ruling it exceeded the CDC's authority. The White House COVID response coordinator, Dr. Ashish Jha, tweeting, CDC scientists had asked for 15 days to make a more data-driven, durable decision. We should have given it to them. Health experts remain concerned about the immunocompromised and children under five who aren't yet vaccinated. Is this the type of precedence we want to set that the CDC can be undermined by a federal judge in Florida? Is that the type of precedence here? I think that is terrible precedence. Well, speaking of the legal precedent, uh, in order for anything to change, the Justice Department would have to appeal the ruling against the mask mandate. And the Justice Department is still up in the air about that. Yeah, Justice says it may appeal if the CDC wants to pursue the mask mandate. CDC so far isn't talking. Listen, Justice would likely not request a stay because the cat's out of the bag. People do not want to start masking up again. And the thinking is this is a political liability for the White House and the president. But they are concerned about precedent. If the CDC is not allowed to enact these types of health measures in the event of another pandemic, then that's something that they feel like they need to address now, appeal it now, and try to establish a proper, in their view, a proper uh, working relationship through this. Yeah, rolling the dice on a favorable ruling, though, too. Tom, thank you yeah. very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.